Hello everyone, I am Dr. Parmeshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Vardhavan College of Engineering. In this video, we will discuss about the zeros, singularities and poles of an analytic function. A point z0 is said to be 0 of an analytic function f of z if f of z0 value is 0. A point z0 is called as a 0 of kth order if f of z0, f dash of z0 and f double dash of z0 value and so on. So, f power of k minus 1 at z0 and it is equals to 0 and f power of k z0 value is here not equal to 0. A singular point or singularity of f of z is a point z0 at which f of z is not analytic function. For example, f of z value is z square minus 3z plus 2 upon z plus 1 whole square into z square plus 1 and here we know 0 of the sing zeros are of analytic function and here we know zeros of an analytic function means here f of z0 value is 0 means in this f of z0 if we replace in a place of z0 1 and 2 that is if we replace here z is equals to 1 here we are getting f of z0 value is 0 and similarly if we replace z value is 2 f of z0 we are getting 0 that is z is equals to 1 comma 2 are the zeros of this analytic function. Similarly, if we equate this denominator value into 0, that is z is equals to minus 1 and z is equals to plus r minus i and these are the singular points of f of z. Next, we will discuss about the types of singularities. Now, first one is isolated singularity. Isolated singularity means here a singularity z is equal to z0 is said to be an isolated singularity if there exists a neighborhood of z0 which contains no other singularity of z f of z and this is what isolated singularity. Next one is the removable singularity. If there are no negative powers of z minus z0 in Lorentz series expansion of f of z about z is equal to z0 then z0 is said to be an removable singularity and in this case limit z tends to z0 f of z is value is finite quantity and already we discussed in last video how to expand the Lorentz series and for using that Lorentz series we will write the removable singularity. Now next singularity is essential singularity. If there are infinite number of negative powers of z minus z0 in Lorentz series expansion of f of z about z is equal to z0 then z0 is said to be an essential singularity and in essential singularity limit z tends to z0 f of z is equal to does not exist. Now last one is the pole. If there are finite number of terms and it is less than or is equal to m involving negative powers of z minus z0 in Lorentz series expansion of f of z about z is equal to z0 then z0 is called as pole of order m and here simple pole is a pole of order 1. Now here we will solve some examples to calculate the different types of singularity that is is it isolated singularity, is it removable singularity or essential singularity. I will take some examples. Determine and classify all the singularities of the function here different three functions are given that is the first function is f of z is equal to z minus sin z upon z square and the second one is e raised to 1 upon z upon z square and the third function is e raised to z upon z minus 1 whole power of 4. Now here let f of z let f of z is equal to z minus sin z upon z square that is for this analytic function we have to calculate the which type of singularity is given and for this which type of uh, from this analytic function we have to calculate which type of singularities are there that is first we have to separate this function z upon z square that is 1 upon z minus sin z upon z square that is 1 upon z right as it is and minus 1 upon z square as it is and here we know the expansion of a sin z using the Maclaurin series that is expansion of a sin z is 1 minus z upon 1 factorial plus z cube upon 3 factorial minus 1 upon z square and the expansion of a sin z is z minus z cube upon 3 factorial 
plus z power of 5 upon 5 factorial minus z power of 7 by 7 factorial plus so on so and this is the expansion of sin z. Now here first term single term that is as it is writing here 1 upon z minus if we multiply this 1 upon z square into the sin z expansion that is z upon z square here we get 1 upon z minus into minus plus we cancel z square and z cube that is z upon 3 factorial minus into plus minus z square z square cancel that is z cube upon 3 factorial minus into minus plus z square and the z square will be cancel that is z power of 5 by 7 factorial plus so on so and we know in this expansion 1 upon z plus 1 upon z and minus 1 upon z will be cancelled that is here we left z upon 3 factorial minus z cube upon 3 factorial plus z power of 5 upon 7 factorial plus so on so. Since f of z has no negative powers of z. In this f of z here z z cube z power of 5 that is whole terms are having the positive power that is f of z has no negative powers of z. So, no negative powers of z means here we know the f of z value that is here f of z value is z minus sin z upon z square that is if we equate the denominator value z square is equal to 0 that is z is equal to 0. So, z is equal to 0 is a removable singularity and this is the First analytic function I am showing here given singularity is the removable singularity. Now here I will take the second analytic function here we have the second analytic function f of z is equals to e raised to 1 upon z upon z square that is f of z value here given in a form of exponential. This e raised to 1 upon z we also write it as e raised to minus z upon z square that is we use the expansion of e raised to minus z using the Maclaurin's and we know the expansion here that is 1 plus z power of minus 1 by 1 factorial plus z power of minus 2 upon 2 factorial plus z power of minus 3 upon 3 factorial plus so on so. Now here if you multiply 1 upon z square into given bracket that is 1 upon z square into 1 means 1 upon z square and it is we also write it as and z power of minus 1 and z power of minus 2 that is z power of minus 3 upon 1 factorial plus z power of minus 2 and z power of minus 2 z power of minus 4 upon 2 factorial plus z power of minus 2 and z power of minus 3 z power of minus 5 upon 3 factorial plus so on so and here we know it is clearly uh, given this f of z has a negative powers of f of z since there are infinite number of negative powers of z. So, z is equals to we know clearly here from the denominator z is equals to 0 since there are infinite number of negative powers of z. So, this z is equals to 0 is an essential singularity. Here I will explain about the third analytic function f of z is equals to e power of z upon z minus 1 whole power of 4. That is if we want to expand this given function means first we have to simplify that is adding and subtracting of 1 for the exponential function and the denominator is as it is z minus 1 whole power of 4 and this numerator e power of z minus 1 plus 1 I will also write it as e power of z minus 1 and e power of 1 upon z minus 1 whole power of 4 and in this it is clearly no e power of 1 as it is upon z minus 1 whole power of 4 as it is and we have to write the e power of z minus 1 expansion and here e power of z minus 1 expansion is 1 plus z minus 1 upon 1 factorial plus z minus 1 whole square of 2 factorial plus z minus 1 whole cube upon 3 factorial plus z minus 1 whole power of 4 upon 4 factorial plus so on so that is here we write it e as it is and if we take this z minus 1 whole power of 4 inside of the bracket that is 1 upon z minus 1 whole power of 4, 1 upon z minus 1 po whole power of 4 we also write it as z minus 1 whole power of minus 4 
and z minus 1 upon z minus 1 whole power of 4, 1 z minus 1 term will be cancelled that is we left 1 upon z minus 1 whole power of 3 and that we also write it as z minus 1 whole power of minus 3 upon 1 factorial plus z minus 1 whole square z minus 1 whole square will be cancelled we left z minus 1 whole power of minus 2 upon 2 factorial and z minus 1 whole cube and z minus 1 whole cube will be cancelled that is a z minus 1 whole power of minus 1 upon 3 factorial and z minus 1 whole power of 4 and z minus 1 whole power of 4 will be cancelled that is 1 upon 4 factorial. Similarly, we have the next term z minus 1 whole power of 5 that is whole power of 4 term is already cancelled that is here we left z minus 1 whole power of 1 upon 5 factorial plus so on so. Since there are 4 negative numbers of expansion of z minus 1. Therefore, here z is equal to 1. So, z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 4 because in this expansion here z minus 1 whole power that is f of z has a negative powers are only 4 term that is a countable 4 terms are there that is 1, 2, 3, 4. If it is infinite number means we will write the singularity but here these are the countable negative terms that is z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 4. Now, these are the different types of analytic functions and having the different types of singularity. Thank you.